Good morning. Why am I just sitting here? Well, before I started this hike, I had an ankle injury. And I thought I was good to go. And I rolled my ankle over five times in the past few days. So it was really bad yesterday. And by the time I got to camp and stopped, it really started hurting. And I realized that I needed to end this hike before it got worse. So... So I'm ending it. I'm sitting here at the Pashubi Trailhead, and trailhead. I gotta get this ankle better, and I'm very worried that I've really damaged something. So, well, my ankle turned out to be a bit worse than we thought. So I'm over here at the surgical center with my husband, who's <laughs> taking me in. We're gonna get surgery. Or I'm gonna get surgery, and we're gonna get this ankle fixed. Okay. Well, I'm headed in. See y'all later. Bye. Hi. Guess who's back? So where we left off was when I was on the Washita Trail. I blew out a tendon and I was going into surgery. So it's now been three weeks since surgery. And I decided to make a video that's going to just document what my whole process is like. I'm expecting about nine months from the time of the surgery to about when I'm getting back to where I was on the kind of mileage I was doing. Whew, nine months is a long time. Let's see, a little bit of background on what happened. I've talked about this in one other video, but about 20 years ago, I got into a really bad motorcycle crash. And I've shown the picture before, and here's your chance to look away. This is a picture of my foot pretty much torn off of my leg. So if you're not good with squeamish kind of stuff, you might want to look away. But anyway, here comes the picture. It's not a great picture. It's a picture of a Polaroid that was in my medical charts. So um, you gotta kind of look at it a little bit to see where my leg is and then see where my foot is and then see where all my ankle guts are. But um, it's gross and obviously did a lot of damage and it's something I've had issues with ever since then. I've had multiple surgeries and this time, this is the second time this tendon was worked on. So, it is what it is. I also snapped my femur in half in that crash and I do hike with the rod in my leg, but it doesn't really bother me like the ankle thing does. So what was done to fix this is called a tendon transfer. And when the surgeon got in and looked at it, he said the, the tendon looked like hamburger. There was nothing he could do with it and he just had to completely take it out. So that tendon is called the posterior tibialis. The, there's another one that runs right alongside that. And what it does, its primary purpose is to cause the ends of the toes to scrunch. And it is called the flexor digitorum longus, but we'll just call it the scrunchy tendon. So anyway, he took the scrunchy tendon and rerouted it so that it is now doing the job of the old hamburger tendon. When I came out of surgery, the first two weeks were really rough. And I also had this surgical splint on and it was causing a lot of pain on one part of my ankle. And after two weeks when that thing came off, this is what it looked like. Oh wait, okay, hang on. Look away again if you're squeamish. It's a really gross blister. So anyway, here's the picture. <laughs> it was causing a really disgusting blister <laughs> on the side of my ankle here. This big scar is where the bulk of the surgery was done. This is where they did the tendon transfer. Uh, you can see a couple other scars there. The first one is from when I had a nerve repaired. The second one is from where I had this tendon repaired once before, and then now this one. But anytime stuff like this happens, y'all, I just remind myself that I'm so blessed that I was able to keep my foot 20 years ago, because I almost came out of that surgery as an amputee. Next, a nice sporty lightweight fiberglass cast was put on and it really reduced my pain and has just been so nice. And since it's smaller, it also allows me to get around more and I can even drive. Accelerate with the cast, brake with the foot. It's only half illegal. As far as work goes, I am an airplane mechanic by trade. So obviously in the condition I'm in, I can't be out there working on airplanes. So I am kind of battling with work right now trying to get back at least on some kind of computer duty. <laughs> I said duty. <laughs> I've got one more week in the spiffy purple cast. My husband signed it, says I'm his favorite cripple. <laughs> so I guess I'll restart this thing next week when I'm 
getting the cast taken off and the sutures taken out. Fun! <laughs> All right, y'all, wish me luck. All right, I'm here at the doctor's office and they are gonna cut the cast off today and take the sutures out. So I'm excited about the sutures coming out because they've been kind of catching on the cast and every time I move, sometimes it'll pull on one and ooh, <laughs> it sucks. Right now, the cast that I'm in has my toe kind of pointed down a little bit. So I have a long way to go to get it to like that 90 degrees for being in a boot. So I'm a little bit nervous about how that's gonna <laughs> work out, but um, We'll see how that goes when I get in there. There we go. Yeah, that blister finally went away. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to get my foot to go to that 90 degree angle and I was kind of nervous about how they were going to do this and this is how they do it. It sucks. <laughs> Sounds like you just need a cast. What color do you want to do? Blue. Blue? Should, I think we have everything. Okay. She's kind of tight so I'm trying to get her yeah. to 90. Okay. okay. So now there's like two people trying to get my foot right. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> Oh my gosh, at one point there were three people trying to get my foot to flex enough and man, they were pushing and, but we got me in the cast <laughs> and I am hurting. Yeah, it's, it was rough. I'm going to go home and get some ice on this thing. The biggest pull right now is on my calf muscle and it really <laughs> freaking hurts. So yeah, I, I need some ice and just get this thing elevated but I am in a walking cast and they gave me a little boot thing to go over the cast so as tolerated um, I can start walking on it and eventually get to full weight bearing so right now I'm gonna let everything kind of settle and tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to start working on this so I'm excited <laughs> all right oh and I got my work release so we'll see how that goes hi I'm back at the doctor's office um, with all the fighting we did to get that cast put on and get my ankle to flex, the cast ended up getting really tight in some places. I think we kind of crushed it a little bit. So it's really hurting me bad and causing a lot of pressure points that are just getting excruciating with time. So it's been three days now and I'm back here at the doctor's office and they are going to recast this. So right now it hurts so bad I can't even begin to start stepping and putting pressure on it. So. Hopefully, once a new cast goes on, things will be better. Okay, I'm gonna get in there. Hi. Boom. So, cast is off. You can see redness where it was pushing really hard on the top. And I have nerve issues here, so that really was rough. And then you can see a little indent where it was pushing. And then an indent there, and you can see where it was rubbing. Glad to have that off and getting a new one on. You can see my hairy leg. <laughs> Kind of a homage to my Italian heritage. Okay, I'm done and this cast feels so much better. Um, it's same color, same shoe and everything, but I actually was able to walk with just one crutch all the way from the doctor's office to my car. So that, that was tough. I've had enough of it for right now, but I'm even standing here with no crutches. How's that? Ah, I love it. Well, found out that I get to be back at work. So here I am, but I'm not allowed out there where the airplanes are. Instead, they've got me working over here. And this is our interior shop where they work on the aircraft interior components. And this is my little cubicle. Never did I think I'd be working in a cubicle, but it sure is good to be out of the house. Hi. Guess he's going for a little stroll. So after I came out of the first walking cast and the new one went on it was so much more comfortable that I was able to start standing immediately um, and then things progressed pretty quickly from there I went from two crutches 
just to kind of gain confidence and get my muscle memory up. And then after that went to one crutch, still working on muscle memory and being able to put more weight on it. And then finally I was able to ditch that last crutch and I was walking with no crutches. And that whole time span was about three days. Anyway, so I've been doing these little walks and then getting back to work. So hopefully here in a couple days, this cast will be coming off and I'll be going into an actual walking boot. Yay. All right, I am home. Talk to y'all later, bye. I've done such a bad job about checking in, so I apologize, but I have been in the boot now for just right about a week, and it's finally starting to feel better, but every time I make another one of these steps where I kind of move up a level, I feel like I'm just back to square one, and it's, it's a little bit disheartening and kind of makes me feel like I'm never going to be able to get back on the trail, but then it seems like three or four days later, I start to feel better. The boot was a pretty good jump, so it's it's been kind of rough getting back into it, but I'm finally starting to walk around and do good. Um, we have moved out of our old hangar at work and got into a brand new one they built for us, and it's just a beautiful hangar, so I've been here working in the tool room, helping get everything unpacked, and it gives me more chances to stay off my feet and don't know what things are going to be like. Next week we have our first plane coming in, so I don't know if I'm still going to be here or back on my feet again, and that always leads to a bit more pain at night, but I've brought ice packs to work with me, and that does help a lot. So other than that, um, I'm still not allowed to cross the green safety line at work, so uh, I'm still not going to be getting out to the planes, and I'm in the boot for six weeks, so I still have over a month before I'm into just a regular like lace-up ankle brace. So we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I have just recently noticed how bad this is. This is the atrophy of my leg compared to my good leg. I mean, it's just about skin and bone. The calf muscle is gone. Ugh. All right, so I am back on the trail now. This is gonna be my very first hike. I'm only planning to do maybe a mile or two just to see how this feels because technically I have not been released by my doctor yet to get back to hiking, but I just can't wait any longer. So I got some friends here with me. These are all Washita Trail people. Some of them I met on the through hike and well, the through hike where my ankle crapped out. So now we're gonna go get on some dirt and see how it goes. All right, well, we're done. We went, we did just about a mile. We went about a half mile in and they got a report that there was a guy out here who was lost and was looking like he wasn't doing very good. So a lady on a horse let us know about it. So we ended up finding him and hiked him back out. And he was thinking he was going somewhere that was south of him and he was walking north and he had a, even had a compass around his neck. So I guess this is a good lesson about if you're gonna carry a compass, have a map and know how to use it because this guy was walking the complete opposite direction. Um, got him to drink some water and hiked him out and now they're giving him a ride back down to his car. So um, so I ended up doing a mile and it was feeling really, really good. So I'm confident about starting to build up more mileage. But it's hot now and we're gonna go get some Mexican food. So I can't end, have a hike without ending it with Mexican food. So. We'll see you guys on the next hike, but excited, yes. <laughs> Three miles. <laughs> Four point eight miles and I this time I did weight, so I've got um, twelve pounds and some of that was water, so it got lighter as I went, so Hoping that next weekend we'll double this mileage.
So, yay, it's getting there. All right, we finished rehab hike number four. Yeah, I think this is rehab hike number four. I saw my surgeon on Wednesday and he released me back to hiking and I told him I was already up to five miles and he says, did I tell you you could start hiking again? And I said, no, but you didn't say I couldn't. We did 6.5 miles and I added two more pounds to my pack for a total of 14. So I'm getting there. <laughs> Thank you guys for your support. Yay. My little support crew. <laughs> Good job. What? Am I hiking with my actual pack? Yes, I am. Am I climbing up a rocky hill? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. I am finally back backpacking. This is my first backpacking trip. It's just an overnight, very, very short trip. We're doing four miles in, four miles out. Got some first time backpackers with us. So we're doing a little beginner group and I am excited to be back. It feels so good to be carrying my pack again. I'm still being very, very careful of my step because I am having some side to side strength issues. But man, <laughs> it feels good. I was kind of hoping that I was gonna have this like total Rocky Balboa montage for you guys of all the crap I went through getting back to hiking again. And <laughs> it actually turned out to be pretty uneventful, you know, I just kept walking and that was it. But the number one advice that was given to me by all my care team, physical therapy and everything else was don't overdo it. 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 So, I didn't overdo it. <laughs> I followed their advice and I've had a pretty simple recovery. It's just been a lot of walking. And luckily, I like walking. I'm... How do I start? <laughs> Come on, you gotta do it. Hey guys, it's Jet Girl. <laughs> All right, so we're done with the hike, and these ladies impressed. They did such a great job. And anyway, so this is going to be the end of this video. I'm back to backpacking now, and all it's going to be is more hiking, more walking, and just continue to get stronger. So anyway, thank you guys for following along on my little journey, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!